Hello, hi theatre community and Beau Morris theatre community. Um, my name is Jen, Jen Bush. This is CJ Newton, um, full of beans, as we can all see. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we're really happy that Beau Morris is doing this little um, release of you know, monologues and scenes to sort of still keep theatre going and celebrate theatre even while none of us can go to the theatre or produce live um, public theatre. So it's really awesome. We do love Bo Morris. We've both done shows with Bo Morris in the past. It's a great company and we miss it. Um, so we're just going to do a little scene for you from uh, Midsummer Night's Dream because we both did a production of it together years ago where CJ played Lysander and I played uh, Helena. So we're going to do the scene for you from that, from that where Lysander first wakes up with the love potion on him. Uh, it's good times. It's a great play. Love a bit of Shakespeare. So yeah, here we go. <sighs> Happy be Hermia, wheresoe'er she lies, for she hath blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright? Not with salt tears, if so, my eyes are oftener washed than hers. No, no, I am as ugly as a bear. For beasts that meet me do run away for fear. Therefore no marvel, though Demetrius do as a monster, fly my presence thus. What wicked and dissembling glass of mine made me compare with Hermia's fiery eyne? But who is here? Lysander? On the ground? Dead? Or, or asleep? I see no blood, no wound. Lysander? Lysander, if you live, good sir, awake! And run through fire I would for thy sweet sake. Gentle <laughs> Helen, nature shows art that through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. Where is Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word is that vile name to perish upon my sword. Do not say so, Lysander, say not so. What, though he love your Hermia? Lord, what though? Yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content with Hermia? No, I do repent that tedious minutes with her that I've spent. Not Hermia, but Helena do I love. Who would not change a raven with a dove? The will of man is by his reason swayed, and reason says you are the worthier maid. Things growing are not ripe until their season, and I have been young till now ripe not to reason. And touching now the point of human skill, reason becomes martial to my will, and leads me to your eyes where I overlook love stories written in love's richest book. Wherefore was I to this keen mockery born? When at your hands did I deserve such scorn? Is it not enough? Is not enough, young man, that I did never, no, nor never can deserve a sweet look from Demetrius's eye, but you must flout my insufficiency. But fare you well, perforce I must confess I thought you lord of more true gentleness. She sees not Hermia. Hermia, sleep thou there, and never mayest thou come Lysander near, for as a serpent of the sweetest things, the deepest loathing to the stomach brings. So thou, my serpent and my heresy, of all be hated but the most of me, and all my power address your love and might to honour Helen and to be her knight. Yay! 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 Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, we hope you've had fun. We had fun doing it. Good reliving the men. Yep. Thanks, CJ. <laughs> thanks, Pete. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>